say they are still looking for a car and driver wanted in a hit and run in the old city. It happened a week ago and the victim is still recovering from serious injuries. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis has more on the search for the car, the suspect and what people are saying who frequent the old city downtown. In the wake of a recent hit and run in the old city, the safety of pedestrians has become a hot topic. I know that Knoxville does have a history of um, pedestrian related incidents and like as someone who would like to bike more, walk more places, especially downtown, which I know is a big priority for Knoxville right now. Uh, I would say, yeah, it definitely could be improved. Gina Truitt, the general manager of Boyd's Jig and Reel, says she's seen firsthand how dangerous the area can get for those who are walking the streets. We've seen a lot of growth in the old city, especially lately, and the infrastructure here just really isn't set up for it right now because it's really easy for cars to just fly through here. We need speed bumps, we need safety, we need cameras on you know on the lights that are here. Um, maybe some oversight with police, but I know that they're shorthanded. Truett says pedestrians begin to stop using crosswalks once the streets get more crowded which can also cause problems. During the day, people are like straight on with, with crosswalks, but as there are just people everywhere, sometimes the easiest place to cross is in a crosswalk. Not that that makes it right. Pedestrians say it is concerning, knowing that people drinking only makes the issue at hand worse. It's definitely like a, a cultural thing that we prioritize the car. And like, I, I think there is maybe hopefully gonna be a shift. In Knoxville, I'm Lauren Davis. Again, if you have any tips in the case about this car or the driver, you can call East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers at 865-215-7165.